close your eyes and think thoughts of goodwill. Goodwill is a wish for true happiness. It's the reason why we're here. Because you can find pleasures just about anywhere. But true happiness is something that takes work. But it's a higher level of pursuit as well. Because you're taking into account not only that you want a happiness that's lasting, but also one that causes no harm. As John Lee said, any animal can find pleasure someplace. But what makes us human is that we think about the consequences of the way we look for happiness. This is what motivated the Buddha to teach, motivated him to find the Dharma to begin with. Because he looked around and he saw that the world was just full of people fighting over things that were going to just slip through their fingers, causing a lot of harm, and not getting, much, get, getting anything to show for it, really, except the bad karma of having fought one another. So the question was, is there a happiness that's lasting? And through trial and error, over a long, long time, he finally found that there is. So he taught it to us. After his awakening, he could have talked about just about anything, but again, he saw that people were suffering. And he wanted them to put an end to their suffering. And they were suffering because of their own actions. So something they could end by looking inside, by training the mind. So it's our motivation. It was the Buddha's motivation to begin with, and it's our motivation now. So we're going to stay right here with the breath, to focus on the breath so we can get to know the mind. Get the mind under some control, because it's the mind out of control that's causing the problems. The mind out of control is also out of your range of knowledge. It's all covered with ignorance, some of which is just simply not knowing and some of which is denial. So the only way to cut through that is to be very mindful and alert and very intent on trying to be as clear as possible about what you're doing right now and the consequences. And we base our attention on the breath, because that keeps us grounded. So when we think good well, the natural next step is to focus on the breath, because that's how we show goodwill for ourselves, goodwill for the people around us. And then you show further goodwill by using the breath to find a sense of well-being right now. The way you breathe can have an impact on the body and on the mind. So experiment to see what kind of impact is best. You're looking for happiness, a pleasure that's totally harmless. And even though it's not the ultimate happiness, it's a step in the right direction.